Hello everyone, and let's talk about the stats in 4.0. We're going to talk about gearing and stats in 4.0. We're going to look at this guide from a PvE perspective, although we are going to cover a bit of PvP as well, because PvP gear is quite nice actually in this expansion. So uh, if you're doing, depending on what the content that you're doing, say you're doing level synced content, the best gear to go for is the PvP gear, okay? The Sinosure gear. Uh, the reason for this is the 204 gear is quite nice. Uh, it's not bad stat-wise. Uh, the belt and the bracers are pretty nice. I've got the uh, the bracers here. You can see here, belt and bracers, what they do is they give you a set bonus. They have more power than the 208 ones. They have less mastery and less endurance. However, what you can do is just augment mastery and endurance, okay? And you get yourself a nice two-piece set bonus for 400 Warzone comms. Okay, absolute bargain. Quickest way to get two-piece set bonus. Okay, two-piece set bonus. Again, Flaming Fist, Magnetic Blast, or Shock Strike, and Tactical Surge increase the damage dealt by 2% for 15 seconds. That's pretty nice. Uh, you can get the six-piece. I have one piece here for the uh, PvE gear. Uh, PvE and PvP set bonuses also stack together. So this is a PvE thing, and these two are PvP, and you can see here the set bonus is 3 out of 7. Okay, you only need 6 pieces to get the full set bonus. So what you can do is get at least get the armorings, okay? The armorings, which only have, well, they only really have 2 stats expertise we can just ignore. Uh, but they do have quite a nice amount of power in them, actually. So I kept them because... If we compare them to our 208 stuff, which is what you buy for crystals, this is what you buy for the uh, the common crystals, is they have, you know, minus 36 power, uh, they do have 36 more mastery, 22 more endurance, they do have a higher armor rating, however, the armor rating is irrelevant, we don't really care about that, uh, but the one thing that we, uh, we do care about is, of course, the... Uh, Set bonus, okay, that's more important. Uh, mastery and endurance, not hugely important here. Uh, very important, cap your accuracy. First priority for a DPS. Uh, your second priority should be get the set bonus. Level synced content, buying the item level 220 gear. We'll go back to the, the fleet. Should really go back. We're here in Odessa in our base, in our smuggler wing, I guess we'll call it, of our base. We'll head back to... Odessa, or head back to the fleet and just take the route via our stronghold. Probably the quickest route. Oh, I forgot the fleet travel. Uh, but we'll get back to that. Uh, so, the main priority is accuracy cap. Okay, your basic attacks can always hit. Okay, the other things your basic attacks will always be able to hit. But we want 110% accuracy. Or 100, it's 9% plus the companion bonus is what we're after here. Uh, fleet. There you go fleet is what we want. Uh, so we go to the fleet and we take a look at the 216 and the 220 gear. Uh, it's not a huge benefit because the level sync will squish a lot of those 220 stats because being level 18 and being in 220 gear and being level 18 and being in 216 gear there's not really it's not really worthwhile because the level sync just squishes your gear down as well as your uh, primary stats. Ah, someone there just leveled up in front of us in a Revan costume. So you can see the combat training area is where you pick up the PvP gear. Quite low cost actually, it's quite low cost. You can get 208 PvP gear. Now you do have to go to your class specific thing because they have set bonuses. There's the trooper one right here, PvP basic gear quite cheap. I've been buying quite a few things. You can see here, uh, we are, are we, we, we're not Eliminator, are we? No, we're not Eliminator. We are Combat Tech. Yeah, Combat Tech we are. It's the Vanguard. Make sure you buy the right kind. Okay, don't buy Combat Medics because it gives you the Combat Medic set bonus. But yeah, you can just buy uh, Belt and Bracers, 400 comms. Really easy to get. Just do the daily. Uh, do the daily quest for PvP, PvP and you'll be able to get them. The relics I'd recommend as well. The relics are pretty nice. You can get the Focus Retribution relics again. 857 power it will grant. I have both relics here as well. 
Uh, Devastating Vengeance may be worth considering. Again, 500 will buy you both relics. So if you get a thousand Warzone comms, which is really easy to get these days, uh, you get a thousand if you do the uh, M14X, gives you a thousand if you complete that quest, uh, or Lieutenant Pierce if you're Empire, give you a thousand, so 500 for them, and another 400 for the uh, Belt and Bracers. I recommend getting them. Gets you a set bonus. If you already have a set bonus, then I would just always keep your set bonus armoring. So always keep your 192 or 198 set bonus armoring in. It's only an armoring. We don't really care about the armorings too much. We're going to go to the PvE one. PvE one, buy, buy it from whatever you want. Doesn't matter. This says Bull. This says Pummeler. Doesn't matter. Okay. It's Mastery Endurance Power Crit. Who cares? Right? You can buy it from the Jedi Knight vendor. It doesn't make a huge difference. This is your glowing crystal vendor. This is your. Now, the relics here aren't great. Okay. They aren't great. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's an on use relic. Want to increase alacrity? Fuck off. We don't want alacrity. Uh, impending serenity is decreased defense, and uh, this one increased power by you can see 607. Now it is longer. It's true, it is longer, but it is 30 seconds. 607 power for 30 seconds. Here we're getting 857 power for six seconds, but it will occur every 20 seconds. Okay, it goes on internal cooldown for 20 seconds. This is a two-minute cooldown. Basically, I think it's a two-minute cooldown to increase your power. So you have 607 power for 30 seconds. The problem with this is, if you look at my bar, where the hell am I going to put it? You know, it's another cooldown. It's another two cooldowns to be tracked here. Uh, and it, they're going to need keybound. Okay, it, now, if, if we could have macros, we could just macro it into battle focus. Okay, pop battle focus, pop both relics, fine. But you're not allowed macros in SWOTOR. It is... A violation of the terms and conditions. Okay, it is a violation to use macros. Uh, so you can. I guess some people can. So it's not really because you'd macro in with that, wouldn't you? Have to have all those those abilities on that one button, and it would work fine. So of course we can't have macros. Uh, the belt and bracers. With someone talented. Find the DPS and heal. Find the DPS one. Uh, where is it? What's the headgear look like? Ah, oh, you got a bandana. I want that. It's not a very good looking bandana, but I want to get her a bandana. She got her an eye patch. There is an eye patch in the game. So we'll take a look at the belt. Uh, it's uh, 69 power is the 216 one, and you're getting 97 power out of that. I just keep that. They're quite good. Uh, you get 104 power out of the uh, 208 one if you have the Valor rank. I think it's 40 you have to be above. To get that one, so if you really want PVE, there's the. Uh, this is the uh, 220 stuff. Not best in slot. Some people say, oh, you can buy best in slot. No, it isn't. 224 is best in slot. Where are those belt and braces? You can see here the difference here as well uh, between these things. You get one extra endurance, although that's before augment, so it's worth it, isn't it? So that's why they, I say they're pretty bad. Where are these? There it is. The belt, you get 73, so you're losing out on power. What you can do is get these 204s, get your set bonus, and augment them to make up the mastery power deficit that you're losing. I'll go show you the set bonus stuff. I need to go to the trooper one. The trooper one's over here. Again, you have to buy specific to your class. So this is the defiant, defiant combat tech is what we're uh, looking at here. You can see here they do have a lot more power in them. They do have the set bonus. This is what you're after. Uh, there's the X arc as well, which comes from the hard mode ops, and of course there's the new tier, which is the ultimate X arc 224 item level here. You can see here a lot of power, a lot of alacrity. Okay, lot of power out of this, lot of alacrity. This is 224. This is available from the. Uh, the the uh, the uh, priority target boss that you're gonna get uh, basically all their loot tables are replaced so their loot tables which normally in hard mode would drop X arc say they would drop X arc super commandos armor if they are the priority target for the week they will then drop ultimate X arcs super commandos armor just use the combat tech one so they'll drop a two two four version 
uh, which is available. I think it's, I can't remember where it is actually. I haven't seen it yet in the game. So you're going to get one operation per week that's going to be available in HM and is going to give you the, uh, the, the uh, what's it called? The, uh, the thing. The, uh, the 224 gear. Uh, your X Arc Focus Retribution. Obviously, you want to get that. Obviously, you want to get that Relic PVE. You can see it is an upgrade here. If we ignore the Augment, it is quite a good upgrade. It is the, the thing we're looking at is not so much the uh, the passive stats. It's the uh, proc'd effect. Okay, healing an ally, performing a damaging attack uh, will grant you 945 of your mastery. Okay, that grants you eight. That's the thing that we want out of it, really. Uh, so that is all for this video, and we'll see you again soon, and hopefully we've cleared up some of the things. Tertiary stats, also quite important. Critical rating, see we get nearly 35, 35, we have it 35, I'm just calling it 35% crit. Uh, very, very important, really, these stats. Uh, so again, comm gear can be useful, but if you're doing level synced content, then I would go with, i just go with the PvP gear, because you get the set bonus out of it. So anyway, thank you for joining me for this video. And we'll see you again soon, and goodbye.